What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We are back again with another AEW Unrivaled figure review on the AEW Unrivaled Series 9 Powerhouse Hobbs and Eddie Kingston figures. If you guys would like to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Lots of figures over there for pre-order. Lots of good stuff going on over there, man. You definitely do not want to miss out on it. Go grab your AEW Unrivaled figures as well as these two, which are up for pre-order right now. I don't know if they're in stock. I, I want to say they're probably in stock, but they they could be on pre-order or back order but if you want to grab stuff go over there and use promo code mdtoys anyways man we're getting into the next two figures in the set and arguably could be my favorite two in the set you know i don't really know where my head's at with this ranking that we're gonna do in a few days the first two started out great if you guys missed our christian and brian cage review from yesterday definitely go check it out both of those figures impressed me a lot and today it could be no different i, I like powerhouse hobbs i like eddie kingston this should be a fun little review will they be better than the two yesterday we'll have to find out but here they are in the front of the packaging as you guys can see you get the two talents up front you have their names in gold foil down the side eddie kingston's number 73 hobbs is number 78 on the side you got your bookshelf style packaging right there on the back you do get a nice image of both guys you got their signatures the rest of the figures in the wave which are all first time in the line on the side we do have aew again over here gold foil you guys know the standard unrivaled packaging that we've all got used to by now it's all beautiful it's all uniform but let's pop powerhouse hobbs and eddie kingston out of their packaging and find out what these guys are all about. So here is Kingston and Hobbs out of their packaging, spinning round and round. Liking what I'm seeing so far, man, again, Unrivaled Series 9 is blowing me away with expectations. You know, I didn't expect a whole lot coming into the set, and we waited a while on it, but it's finally in our hands, and I'm liking what I have seen so far, of course, but we are going to get into the details. We're going to break down the accessories, break down the figure itself, take us through it, get some comparisons in. You guys know how we roll over here. So what we're going to do is run through Hobbs' accessories and Hobbs, and then we'll run it back, take a closer look at Kingston's accessories and Kingston, and of course, get into all the different comparisons. But let's go ahead and get our review started. So getting into Hobbs accessories, just like the other two yesterday, man. Two pairs of interchangeable hands and two interchangeable head sculpts. You guys will notice about the head sculpts. I mean, they're virtually the same. Uh, this one's just kind of like a straight face powerhouse hob. Like he's just kind of chilling. You guys can see I have a little bit of eye paint running over right there. It'd look a lot cleaner if that wasn't on the eyelid there. But it's not a bad sculpt. I like the hair. I like the way that the beard looks and everything like that. I don't think it's a bad head sculpt, but I definitely like this one right here. Kind of this like smirking powerhouse. Hobbs face. I like this one a lot more. I think this fits the character. It fits, you know, when you see Powerhouse Hobbs, this is kind of the face he's making, right? So I like this a lot. You know, it's looking pretty good. I like the sculpt. I like, you know, the, everything that's going on. I think they captured it pretty damn well. I just would have liked to see maybe a yelling head over just like, because I mean, these are virtually the same, right? I mean, they're, they're this is kind of just straight on photo portrait, and then this is kind of like mean mugging, so you, you get the point there, but I like both of them, you know, nothing crazy. And then for his interchangeable hands, you get non-taped fists, which are just standard fists, and then you get sculpt on wrist tape fists which are a little bit different which is so weird because this is like a pretty much sculpted you know like this looks this looks like a one of one sculpt they took Hobbs hands in tape and made it into an action figure is what this looks like because look how different these are like the shape of it is completely different it, it's almost like it's his real fist so it's very weird but it does have the sculpted tape on there which is really nice and I like these it's just crazy how he's just he, he can't hold weapons he can't do anything like that but you do get the taped hands and then the non-taped hands which is kind of Odd. All right, guys, so getting into Hobbs head sculpt, we already took a look at it, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but it looks really good on the body. I think his traps could be bigger. Powerhouse Hobbs is massive, man. I just don't think this figure quite captures the girth of him. I think they could have gotten away with like a Wardlow style or maybe something like that, but I do like the torso. I like, you know, the Team Taz style gear he's got going on here. You got Powerhouse down here in the really cool font. On the back, it does say FTW. You got Hobbs down here. I love it. On his tattoo right here, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure he has a Venom tattoo. Too. Now, it doesn't quite capture right here because they're not going to be able to put Venom onto his shoulder here. But if you look, it's a skull. There's like a little glare right here. So you guys can see there, it is like a skull. But it kind of looks like Venom, you know? It kind of like if you if you connected like right here and then made that big blank space the eye. It can, it, you know, it can kind of look like Venom. But it may be a skull, but I'm pretty sure he has a Venom tattoo. But you guys know that we do have the sculpted on wrist tape right here, which looks really nice. I love the way that looks. It's very, very clean. We discussed the fist. But he's kind of got small thighs, man, to be honest with you. 
he kind of small thighs. He's got the smaller knee pads, and then he has his one of one Will Power. Pretty sure his name's Will Hobbs, so it's like Will Power, Powerhouse Hobbs, whatever. And then you have the, you know, it's kind of Ziggler Booker T style boots with all the straps on it, which is really cool. But I'm really enjoying this figure, man. I've really grown to like Powerhouse Hobbs a lot, and I think that he can add to any company. But this figure's pretty fire. Like, it feels really good in hand. Every figure so far in Unrivaled Series 9 has just been fantastic. I'm, I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun posing him around. Anyways, man, for his articulation, he can look down a lot, but not up a lot because of his big neck, so his head pops off there. But you guys know above 90 here, you do get the bicep cut. Double joint arms, which are really nice. Arms still really good, man. Like, holy crap. This figure is very fun to pose around. He can kick four pretty good. He does have upper thigh cut. You get the boot swivel. Ankle pivot is not as strong. Actually, he may not have ankle pivot at all. Or, okay, he does. It's just kind of, yeah, it's a little bit weird there. But figure feels great. Really cool figure. I enjoy the Powerhouse Hobbs. For your Powerhouse Hobbs figure comparisons, here's Kenny Omega. You guys can see just the standard size. I use Kenny as, like, just your standard, you know? Everybody wants to put a five-star classic on with Kenny. So I just always compare any figure with him because he's kind of like your standard size figure. So there he is up next to him looking pretty good. And then for your Team Taz figure comparison, here is Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs up next to each other. And you guys can just see how much bigger Cage is. Uh, not as tall as Hobbs, but you guys can just see the, like, girth of the guy is bigger than Hobbs here. And when you look at them up next to each other in real life, they're not that much different in size. I feel like, you know, Hobbs is just as muscular, man. Like, he's he's gigantic as well. I mean, Cage is probably more cut, but Hobbs probably has, you know, the same amount of mass as him. So for Kingston's accessories, you actually get a little bit more here. You get two interchangeable head sculpts, a necklace, and three pairs of interchangeable hands, which is pretty cool. Starting out with the first head sculpt. A lot of people that first saw these did not like them whatsoever, and I'm kind of like in, in a mixed bag. I think it does have some likeness to Eddie Kingston. I definitely like this one better, like the grimacing head sculpt. I just think it fits better. I do think that the eyebrows need a little bit more paint, because doesn't he have like, he has like a line in his eyebrow, and they didn't really get that here, so I think I need to fix that. Also, the hair's way too thick. You guys know that his hair's way lighter than this. It is not this dark. It's not this saturated. It's definitely supposed to be, you know, uh, lighter. It's supposed to be lighter. It's supposed to be kind of transparent, kind of like a light gray or a light black, you know, laid over there. It's supposed to be shaved head, not, you know, completely Caesar cut right here. So, I still like the head sculpts. This one's my favorite. I don't think it looks like Bubba Ray Dudley anymore. This looks a whole lot better than it did at FanFest, similar to Christian's. Next up is his necklace accessory. Now, I will be honest with you, this scale, this scale is not completely accurate. It's a bit big, but, you know, it's not bad. It is cool to see another necklace accessory. He's got the brown wooden necklace here with the crosses on it, which is pretty cool. Not executed terribly, but I think it could be a bit better. Maybe this will get better as we get more Kingston figures, but I'm going to try some other necklaces on the Eddie Kingston just to see what it looks like. Maybe that'll look a lot better and more accurate. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get your, like, grabby hands or, you know, weapon-wielding hands. These are just for Eddie Kingston. You can tell by the, the white tape sculpted onto the thumbs there. We also have the Jazzwares regular fists in there with no hand tape on it, so that's kind of interesting. They could have at least painted it on there. That's the trouble when you sculpt things. And then you have the signature Eddie Kingston shocker hands right there. So you got the shocker style pose. You got the tape thumb up there. And again, when you're sculpting the stuff on there and you don't want to create a new sculpt, that's where the problems seep in. So that's why the fists don't have any thumbs on there or thumb tape. But these look good. I like the way they're posed. They look accurate and everything like that. And I swear to God, they, they like mold these after their real images. I swear, these are like one-of-one one sculpts on these hands. So getting into Eddie Kingston, starting out at the head, we covered in the accessories portion. Looks pretty good on the figure, though. You guys can just see how big that damn necklace is. He does have a singlet here in black and yellow. Not terrible. I feel like, you know, Eddie Kingston's kind of got a pot belly. I don't feel like it quite captures the pot belly, but I guess in action figure form, it's not bad. He does have his sculpted on wrist tape, which looks good. Yellow belt. He has these, like, shield-like legs, you guys know, and they're very baggy. They're literally, like, the unrivaled comparison of shield legs from Mattel. So you guys have all the pockets, all the different stuff going on. He does have like his lion back here in yellow, which looks cool. Going down in the back, you got all your pockets, your baggy pants, your long boots here. And these boots are a different sculpt than the John Moxley. So like if you compare their pants, you guys can see here, they're completely different sculpts. Like the boots are different, the lower legs are different. Like they're completely different sculpts here for the pants. So that, that is something to note. It's all one of one. It's all different. Now, as far as articulation goes, he can look down a pretty decent and he can look up a little bit there the necklace kind of makes his head pop off there ab crunch is not the best you know it's not my favorite one ever but the arms are all good similar to Hobbs he can do the splits he can kick forward he has good kick rotation my double jointed knee has been a little bit stiff like I can't quite get that second one to bend I don't know what that's about I, I'm not entirely sure right there but the figure stands a lot better than the shield legs I think they made the feet pretty big there so he can stand up straight you know you don't have to worry about anything like that
that. Also, one thing that I just realized, I don't think I did an ab crunch with Hobbs, and his ab crunch isn't the best either. It pops off pretty easily there, so you don't get a great ab crunch with Hobbs either. You know, it's just something about those bigger torsos or guys. You know, it just seems to be that way, but as far as your Eddie Kingston figure comparisons, here is Eddie Kingston, and we have to compare him to John Moxley here. So we do have Moxley and Kingston right here, and Moxley's obviously taller there, so that works out for me, but these look good up next to each other. You want to run some tag teams, you want to run some death matches, you want to run some craziness right there. They look good. They're going to look great up next to each other on the shelf as well. If you have one big display, you know, you got some weaponry, you got them doing their signature poses and stuff like that. Going to look really cool. So there is that. But I'm enjoying the Eddie Kingston and the Moxley up next to each other. I'm enjoying the Eddie Kingston figure overall, man. Really cool figure. And if you guys wanted to see what he looks like up next to a standard guy like Kenny, like we usually do, here is Eddie up next to Kenny. And I don't think Eddie Kingston's taller than Kenny Omega. I could be wrong about that. I don't think he is. But there is the two side by side for you right there. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to wrap up our 2-in-1 Unrivaled Series 9 review on Eddie Kingston and Powerhouse Hobbs. Again, liking what I'm seeing. Of course, neither are without their faults. I felt like Powerhouse Hobbs, again, could use some more girth. You know, he's a gigantic dude. I just feel like the arms overall on Unrivaled figures, they're always under, they're undersized. They're always undersized. The bigger guy's arms are undersized. The smaller guy's arms are even undersized. They're too skinny, stuff like that. I think they could have gotten away with giving him some more girth on his figure here. The Eddie Kingston is not as bad as I was afraid of. I was afraid of the legs. I was afraid of the head sculpts. I think it's much better in person, a lot similar to Christian. I think if you acetoned off the hair and repainted it, I think, you know, more faded, not as dark. He has like the TJIF Friday Trash Corbin basic vibes where it's like a really dark haircut instead of the faded or, you know, kind of, uh, it needs to be lighter. It definitely needs to be like lighter, not as thick, all those different things. However, I was impressed with both of these. I am going to switch out the necklace on Kingston. I felt like it's kind of jumbled together. I think his necklace is a bit thick. Like, I know it's hard to get that necklace downsized, trying to get those balls the right accurate scale and stuff like that on that necklace, but at the same time, I definitely am going to switch it out. Just play around with it. It is supposed to be a wooden necklace, I think. It's got some, like, wooden works on it and stuff like that, but I still think I want to switch it out, play around with it, see how it goes. But at the end of the day, I do like these figures, and if you guys like these figures as well, definitely go give them a pre-order, man. Go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. It seems like they're starting to sculpt a lot more on these figures, and everything's starting to become like one of one almost, man. Everything down to a T. But that is going to wrap up the review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next video.